daytime to stay connected with the community um, instead of just gradu graduating out of school and stay staying home. Uh, what we do at New Opportunities is to provide work for them, employment, paid em em employment, and also life skills skills training. I brought a, a number of things here. This is our oldest co contract. We've made this for um, 35 years for Jefferson National Parks Association. So if you go down to the arch and you go into the gift shop, you'll, you'll find, find these. This provides a lot of jobs, all the way from something being very skilled, like spray painting it, to assembling it, to boxing it, to packaging. And so it, it actually provides about 20 different uh, jobs. Uh, most of our, our clients either have Down syndrome, some are autistic, uh, some just have developmental delays in that. But it keeps them from actually functioning in a regular work in, in environment. So what we, d we do is we do behavior modification, we do uh, training on what's appropriate worker be be behavior and, uh, and things. <coughs> Uh, and our next con contract is we do for MAKO, and we label these uh, spools, and we do thousands of, of these. Um, another thing is these things, you can find these at Wal Walmart. Our clients uh, break these down at, for the, the, um, the ones that are produced that are, that are bad. Um, they also put the screws in here and the washer, and that's what this thing is. So when you see these at Walmart, you know that, that they came from us. Um, another thing is this is the blessing basket. We label all of their uh, baskets. Um, and these things here, these, this actually is a, a new contract that's being shipped to can Canada. Uh, it's been very hard for us over the, these past few years because the economy is so, so bad and many places are going out of, out of business or being shipped over, overseas. So, but what our clients do for pro, pro class is they put the sticker on and they also insert these things and they also insert this little washer. Uh, this goes to Canada and these stay in the United States, the, the red. So, um, so we do a lot of different work, but we're always looking for more work because unfortunately more and more children are coming out of the high schools that, uh, you know, need our, our service and that. So uh, Aaron's going to play this video for us, and this is going to give you a really good idea of what we, what we do. is a training and employment center for individuals who are developmentally challenged and have physical disabilities so that they can learn um, skills, on-the-job skills, that will enhance their ability to obtain employment out in the community. We do an array of work. We do sorting, collating. We can shrink wrap. We can do assembly work. New Opportunities is a brand new facility. It's only three and a half years old. There's 15,000 square feet. It's climate controlled. We ensure all of the products that are brought into the workplace. The quality of our work is very high. We do products that are actually sold in gift shops, so the quality has to be correct. We have highly trained staff. The staff count materials as they come in. Uh, we make sure that the same number of products are going out, so there's a lot of security there. We've been working with new opportunities for approximately 10 years. The first two years as a customer of ours, and for the last eight years as both a customer and a supplier. They're very, very easy to work with. They're very thorough in an understanding of what it is that you, the customer, wants. This particular piece is a lever that's used in a sprayer for lawn and gardens. You'll find these in the big box stores and Walmart and places like that. We make approximately 800,000 sprayer units a year, and uh, this little lever, for example, has an O-ring seal on it that seals against the body, as well as an adjusting screw that goes through it. So 
this small hand assembly work that they do for us at New Opportunities, it's not our area of expertise, and uh, they take care of this, as well as a variety of other small components, filters, uh, gaskets, O-rings, that are inside the sprayer. Our market is primarily within 300 miles of St. Louis. The product line then moves on from there, and much of it goes worldwide. We look at the cost of doing business in all of the various aspects of our business. We are custom injection molders, so our area of expertise is in injection molding. Uh, it's not in repairing forklifts. We employ an outside company to repair forklifts. The same thing holds true with assemblies and sub-assemblies. That's not what we do, and uh, we find it much more cost-effective to take that kind of work outside of our building. And they've been very easy to deal with. We've, we found their accuracy of uh, both their accounting and the paperwork just on shipping and receiving to be very, very good, uh, which is an easy thing for us because that really is a, a major problem sometimes in dealing with outside vendors. When you send something to them and you expect a certain quantity back and there's a shortage and gee, what happened to it and that kind of thing, we don't have those problems with new opportunities. We are very competitive with the overseas cost. So that's why we tend to get a lot of the local companies. We can pick up and deliver the product. We can work with them on plans for the product being completed. The Blessing Basket Project has been working with new opportunities for about four years now, and we could not be happier with the service that we receive. When we first started working with new opportunities, one of the biggest surprises that we had is we sent over about a thousand tags to be assembled, and we assumed that it was going to take several weeks. I think they had them returned within about 48 hours, and we were absolutely shocked at the speed and the accuracy with which they did our work. Working with new opportunities for the Blessing Basket Project not only makes good business sense, but it makes good community sense. For us to be able to help them with their mission is just as important as our bottom line. And it really makes us feel like we are being good corporate citizens when we provide jobs and work for the clients that they work with. Um, I can tell you it's, it's a real thrill for us when we go over there and see our tags spread out all over the table and the clients diligently working on our product. They care about what they're doing and they become very efficient at it. Jefferson National Parks Association has been working with new opportunities for over 20 years. And um, in that time frame, they have been responsive to the needs that we had for our businesses. New Opportunities is assembling different pieces of plastic that have gone through the molds and they're putting them together to form the replica of the gateway arch and then they're putting them in the custom packaging that's been developed and getting them um, packed up ready to come to our facility. New Opportunities has been very creative and very responsive. Um, again, we're dealing with thousands in terms of quantities that we go through each year. We have a large number of suppliers, and for any number of reasons, several suppliers aren't able to meet the orders that we place, and New Opportunities has always been able to do that. In addition to just being able to meet the business needs, they've been helpful in making sure that the end result product that we thought we wanted to provide is exactly what we needed. That's going to be $8, 9 10 and 10 is 20 Thank you. You have a good day. New Opportunities is very easy to work with. They're very flexible. We have a huge fluctuation in attendance where we are, and of course that means that our purchase orders will fluctuate drastically in the quantities that we're ordering month to month. 